Well, this is it. This is documenting Peppy at 142 Gorgeous Washington Street. So I'm getting ready to go over there and um, do a little filming. Okay, I'm ready. Ready? One, two, three. Ready? Yeah. This video is going to be a start of uh, something a lot bigger, I hope. And uh, it's probably going to be R-rated, so uh, it won't be on regular TV. This is my fucking house. <laughs> Can you tell me how we got to the meatball sub the way we started? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, once I uh, got kicked off the highway from the state, uh, I moved to one main street. And uh, there was a, I had a wedding reception, I think. and. Uh, I had a huge pan of meatballs left. And I figured, I'm gonna just sell these a dollar just to get rid of them so they don't spoil. And uh, I mean, you know, everyone loved them, they were great because they had just you know, been simmering all day from the day before. And uh, the next weekend, everybody demanded them again. So I went out and got more. And it got to the point where that was all I was selling. And uh, just went, it kept went from there. Say something about peppies. Peppies? Yo, peppies got the illest meatball subs in the world. What, well, what? Oh my god, it's career. Four years? Four years. What's your favorite item on the menu? The meatball sub. Without a doubt. It makes me feel special. What do you think of this man, Steve Schaefer, right here? Is that you? I think he's a great guy, and he makes a hell of a song. What do you think you film for? Making a documentary about Steve Schaefer. Steve Pepe. 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 Pepe's? Oh, Pepe. We had a party once, Pepe came. There he is, there he is. He's, he's, he's doing a documentary. He's doing, he's doing a documentary on Pepe. Oh, Pepe great. came to a party. Steve, you're talking about Steve. Where's he going? Food business got into my family. My father worked at the... Uh, he works for the New York State uh, Mental Health, which is a psychiatric center. And uh, he was like a recreational therapist. So he always had to take the uh, patients camping. And part of his job was where he had to start cooking breakfast and lunch and supper for 50, 75, 100 people, 100 kids. And he had to do it every weekend. And it got to the point where he figured, hey, if I can get paid by the state to do this, I might as well do it on my own. He passed away, he told me. Yeah, yeah, he had uh, cancer. How long ago was it? Uh, it's been seven years. Seven years? Yep. And uh, can you tell me a little bit about your mom, too? Yeah, she, uh, she, was, she grew up in Hartford, Pennsylvania, which really isn't too far from here. And uh, I think she went to, uh, they had a nursing college right at the uh, Binghamton Psychiatric Center, which she graduated from. And uh, she had a heart attack. And she's been dead probably 12 years.
So, uh, so what oh, okay, and then uh, we were we were selling the, the, the speedies on the streets just strictly in the summertime. That was when I was still in high school. We took a uh, hot water heater and uh, had a welder cut it in half, put legs on it. We just put the skiers over and cooked it like that. The first really uh, business we had is uh, we set up in the summertime at this campgrounds called Peaceful Valley Campgrounds in Shin Hopple, New York. They used to have like country mustard jamboree, CB jamborees. For the most part, everybody that comes in, like I, you know, I've worked here for, I don't know, like over a year. And everybody that comes in when wasted, for the most part, is totally, you know, respectful, waits for their stuff, you know. Right. And, you know, every once in a while, you, you, you know, you've had to, maybe once or twice, you had to throw somebody out. But how do you feel about uh, the students on the whole? And, and couldn't you maybe talk a little bit about the times where you had to, uh, what, why would you have had to throw people out? Oh, okay, like, yeah, like, like you were saying, 99.9 .9 of uh, the people that come in here are nice, but then you get to 1.1% that are uh, out of control. And, uh, get the fuck out of here! I mean, most of the things that we have to do is just like people getting into fist fights, things like that. Get everybody on it. Where are Sam's Yeah, yeah, sure. Yep. Next town, a restaurant, so it's going to be great. It's a tax rate, obviously. We're going to use it partially for security and, uh, yeah. yep. Christmas. Yeah, Christmas for myself. Wow, holy shit. I'm getting to the point where, uh, because the business is so dead when the college students are gone, I'm taking more and more vacation as uh, time goes on. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my vacation. Thank all the people at Big Lincoln University for letting me come here. If it was for you guys, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't. I, I I couldn't do this if I didn't have a passion for it. That's that's why so many people are at these festivals I do and. Uh, in general, don't make it because they go into it half-heartedly. I mean, uh, owning a business is like being married. Once you're in it, you're in it, and that's it. And uh, I mean, I mean, that's the way I feel. No, I've never been married. Only to this place, probably. <laughs> I mean, I've uh, had a couple serious relationships, but it uh, wasn't uh, to be. What are you doing there, brother? I am looking through this box of tapes for um, peppy footage because we are resurrecting the peppy project. And uh, and that's what I'm doing. I Right now, I am trying to, looks like. Is that, are those all tapes of, uh, with peppy? It looks like these are. This says Peppy also, Peppy, what's this? There's 14 of them, so there really, there should be enough to get this project resurrected. I spoke to Peppy and, um, last night, and he, he's real excited about the, uh, about the idea of seeing this thing through to, uh, to, uh, 
fruition. To its fruition, yeah. Which will be at the Cannes Film Festival <laughs> 2008, I guess. Are you guys students at Binghamton? We're twins, so once again, I think to love each other. What are you gonna get, a chicken speedy? Chicken speedy? You got your damn mind? Meatballs up? The only thing to get here, since they were a dollar my freshman year, is meatball sub. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, over the course of six years, how many of these meatball subs would you say you ate? A lot of swallowing. Definitely a lot of swallowing. swallowing. A lot of swallowing. Best in all of Big Big Ten. Yeah. My friend right here, don't listen to anything he just said, because he just called we're gonna get five, five, oh, five. Shit. They're kidding me. Is that <laughs> fucking true? That's right. Oh, Not shit. true. I am the number one Pepe fan. I love meatball Don't heroes. What is better than a meatball hero on a Friday night when you're drunk? Gary, how long have you been working at, with Pepe? Off and on, about two years, three years. How long have you known him? Same time? No, probably four or five. Hey, right. He treats you right? Of course not. <laughs> Alright, Ross is uh, signing the consent form. Let me ask you, what do you usually get when you come in here? Meatball sub. Pep, how many, me uh, how many meatballs do you think you've sold in your entire lifetime? What do you got? Mm -hmm. figure. I've been downtown Binghamton for eight years, so you figure... Probably about 100,000. 100,000 meatball sandwiches. Go to Devil's Punch Bowl, right. and then we come back. And we're gonna stop on uh, in West Windsor, uh, to see where I used to set up, where the domain was. Right. Okay. Then maybe like on the way back through, we'll uh, cut through the mountains and uh, we'll stop and uh, I'll show you where I grew up and stuff. That would be great. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I used to get their parents. I used to get the college kids' parents because they were from Syracuse, Cornell, Ithaca, Binghamton. They all lived in New York City. They dropped their kids off and stuck here on the way home. That ditch wasn't there. I mean, you could just pull over. Look up there. They're the only ones, it's $100,000 for an acre now. I can't afford that. They can afford it, no problem. This is for kids. It must be squeezed, the trigger must be squeezed. The only thing you can hear is the rustle of the trees. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna go down there because it's posted and I don't wanna get everybody arrested. Ready? Yep. Okay, here we are at Devil's Punch Bowl in uh, Lanesboro, Pennsylvania. I uh, haven't been up here in about 15 years, and uh, it looks more beautiful than ever. There's hundreds and hundreds of beer pop bottles smashed, and then, uh, it is almost like a state park, I think, yeah. Well, so we're coming down the hill from Devil's Punch Bowl. Harmony, Harmony, Pennsylvania. Harmony, Pennsylvania. Yeah, we're going to Lanesboro next to see Strucker Bridge. I think people from the village here, in the summertime, they come here and they eat their lunch. It'd be great, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. A little barbecue pit there with barbecue. Yeah. Yeah. No, that would be nice. It'd be nice if you wanted to get away from Binghamton, come here so close. Mm -hmm. It's not that far. It's free, too. Not many things in life are free anymore. <laughs> this is one of them. <laughs> but when you come up on it, it's like, wow. Yeah, I was like, holy shit. I didn't think it was that big, huh? It's like, it looks like Rome. Angels in the night Come and visit with me Once in Yeah, right, you made it! Come on! I just want 
How are you doing? Good, good. I mean, we, we came in here Sunday. The fair didn't start till Tuesday. And, well, actually, we started setting up Saturday because we had a cancellation. Right. And uh, so we, we set up Saturday, Sunday, Monday, opened up Tuesday. Yeah, they were $20 a foot, uh, so 20 foot uh, frontage is $400, and then I rent a tent for $190, so it's $590 for the week, and that includes electric. I mean, I would do between, say, six and $8,000, depending on the weather. Chicken, ribs, speedies, clam, salt potatoes, corn, clam chowder, Philly cheesesteak, pork speedies. First place in the truck bowl. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Third place. Third in the place in the truck bowl. Nice. Come over here. Well, it's uh, January 22nd, 2007. Project is almost completed, Steve. Getting ready to mail it to you tomorrow. Hope you like it, buddy. And uh, it may go on a little further, but uh, for now, I want to give it to you as it is. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. It's been a good ride. Talk to you soon. Here's to you, Pep.
Let's go.